In this video, I'll show you how to use File Around AI to land a job in 30 days. So, uh, you can check the link in the description here. So, let's get started. Now, first, what is uh, File Around AI? So, File Around AI is a smart interview assistant built to help you or help job seekers handle online interviews with more confidence. Now, instead of just preparing you before the interviews, it actually supports you in real time during calls on platforms like Zoom or Google Me here while the interview or uh, er, interviewer here is speaking. Now, it transcribes your, their questions and offer quick prompts, clarifies tricky uh, tricky terms here, and even suggests ways you might uh, structure, uh, structure your answers. Now, beyond live support here, it also provides mock interview practices, tailored prep materials for over like 50 different industries, and tools to polish your resume or cover letter here. Now, in short, it's like having a personal coach sitting beside or quietly beside you, making sure you stay sharp and don't get thrown off by unsuspected questions. So, how do we get started here? What are the tools that we can access? So, first things first is you want to access their website. It's going to be foundaroundai.com. Now, by the way, don't forget the link that we've provided in the description if you, easy, if you want to easily access this one. But, yeah. In here, we want to go ahead and just basically create our account. Now, there are two ways to create your account. You have to get started for free here if you want to manually create your account. Now, you also have the start free with Google. Now, if you want to connect your Google account, but if you click on get started for free here, you should see other options in creating your account. That includes like Facebook, LinkedIn, and even Microsoft account that you could use to create your account here. So as an example, maybe I want to use my Google account. Let's go and choose Google here and select our Google account. Now from here, let's go and choose the account that we want to uh, basically connect. Let's go and choose this one. And from here, let's go and agree to the connection or sign in. Let's go and click on continue. And once you've done that, it's basically going to ask you about some questions about your account. But once you've done that, it might also uh, basically redirect you to the Tuesday plan section here, which should allow you to get a plan that you may want or uh, you may like for the platform. So there are different plans here, like you have the God plan and pro plan here. And depending on what plan that you are getting in here, you'll be able to utilize a bunch of features. Like if you get the God plan here, you get everything on the pro plan here, plus more like priority live coach uh, coaching sessions, early features access, and again, a lot more. Now, if you click on view more, you should see the uh, cheaper plans that you have here. They have the plus plan here and the pro plan here. So the pro plan is around like 49.67 plus it's like $59 here. So yeah, go ahead and click on upgrade to pro here if you want to proceed with this one. But for now, let's go ahead and click on, on basic plan and skip. Now, in here, you have a bunch of things that you could do in here, like the uh, interview uh, section here, which includes interview go pilot, mock interview, preparation hub, AI resume builder as well. So obviously there are a lot more features that, or tools that you get access in here like the AI material generator, AI job hunter, and a lot more. But let's go and start with the basics here. So let's first start with the AI resume builder. Now the AI resume builder here allows you to basically generate your resume. Like if you want to upload your own resume, you can click on upload here and just choose the file that you want to upload. So if you have like a resume.pdf file, you can go and choose that and upload that into their platform. But you could also create your resume using their AI. So if you click on create here, it should open up a new tab, which should allow you to fill out all their entire information here. So if you don't have like a PDF file yet, they would assist you on getting that one. Now, the great thing about their AI resume builder here is you can just ask them to, or ask the resume co-pilot here to update the information for, uh, for you. Like for example, I'm going to say, I'm a software engineer. Now let's go and just enter. Now, obviously, it's going to say software engineer here. As you can see, uh, it's going to upload uh, or update information for me. So great, a software engineer, you may want to highlight your work experience here. So let's go and just say, add that in the resume. And from here, it's uh, going to start loading up. So let's just wait for a while here. So yeah, and yeah, so your summary has been successfully updated to software engineer. And as you can see, our objective has been updated here. So yeah, you could just interact with the AI itself and it will do the heavy lifting for you. Now from here, once you're done, you can go and click on save and download Retromay if you want to have a like a digital copy of uh, for uh, for yourself. 
let's go back into uh, this section here. Now, you also have the preparation hub here. Now, preparation hub is where you can share your goals here or upcoming interviews. And basically, from the name itself, all you have to prepare for that specific interview. Now, in here, you need to start preparing. Let's go and click on prepare. Now, you just need to provide or use the resume that you want. Like, for example, let's go and choose resume.pdf here. Like, you go and just enter the URL of the job description. But if you don't want to provide or the, if you don't have any link here, you go and click on next and just basically click on next here. So you'll be using the JD editor. Now, from here, just provide the position, the company, description for it, and the company details in order for you to complete the, uh, or in order for you to prepare for the QA pairs. Now, once you've done that, it should create your uh, preparation here. So, uh, as you can see, there are a lot of uh, preparation uh, so, uh, items I ha already have in here. Now, in here, if you go and just uh, view one of the resume, we have this resume here. You can go and click on Edit QA Pairs here so that you could see the QA Pairs, what is the question, what is the answer for that, and a lot more. So if you want to regenerate certain answers to that, you can go and just do that, do this by, uh, via this way. Now, you also have the mock interview. Now, the mock, inter uh, mock interview here allows you to basically uh, simulate a interview with certain personalities or, uh, in this case, uh, key persons on different companies like for example you could go ahead and maybe like do a video call here with steve jobs or even elon musk here and a lot of other people here we also have like sydney sweeney here surprisingly so yeah you could go and just click on video call here or if you don't want anyone or if you don't want to have an interview with uh one of them you could go and just use the standard interview here now by the way this is ai powered they are just copying or they are just basically uh simulating how that specific first person is going to interact with you so this is a great way for you to like Build your confidence here and uh, really assess how would you perform on an actual interview. So yeah, now we also, we also have the interview uh, co-pilot here. So basically, this is where you could basically start uh, providing or getting support from the co-pilot. Uh, co so basically, first is you want to go and just choose your role here. So we have software engineer. Now you can go and click on the start interview co with Copilot. Now, by the way, you can go and choose one that uh, is uh, suitable for you. Like, for example, you have the general interview here, coding Copilot, higher view interview, or even like phone interview. Let's go and choose general interview here. Click on start interview with Copilot. Now, you can go and customize your experience here. Like, you go and choose your resume so that you could really see uh, what or uh, really like tailor the responses or what you're going to get from your co-pilot. Now, let's go and choose one in here. Let's go and choose resume. Now, the role here, you can go and choose a role. Let's just say I am, uh, like for example, a UX designer. Now, you could go and select your knowledge domain here. Now, some of the options here are just optional. Go and skip this one. But if you really want to customize, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go and click on lunch. And it's going to launch the uh, basically the uh, UI itself. Now, you can go and just select your, um, let's just say your microphone. Let's go and select our microphone here. So we could start using it in the platform. While you're visiting the site here, let's go and choose this one. Now, for me, just go and say launch your interview co-pilot. So you could go and choose one of the app here. So you could go and choose or download the Windows app or the uh the app for the Mac OS or uh, Apple uh, Silicon here, depending on what you want. But you could go and click on continue with browser here if you want. So in here, it's going to say connect your interview meeting room here. You could go and click on select. And from here, you could go and just share your uh, or share your screen here on the file around AI. Now in here, just choose the, uh, let's just say uh, the tab that you want to uh, get uh, the interview for. Like for example, if you have this open on a second screen, you could go and choose that screen or that window to basically uh, start sharing that screen on the uh, founder on AI here. And that they will basically uh, help you or they will analyze that screen here and basically provide responses or assist you along your interview. Oh, let's go and just choose one here, click on share, wait for a while here. Now it's going to say invalid uh, browser tab audio here. So if you do are, or if you have this uh, problem here pop up. So yeah, but by the way, you may want to set up your audio here. So go and click on see tutorial here to how, uh, basically how to fix this one. So basically uh, you just need to enable certain audio so that uh, Found on AI could also hear this one. So I would highly recommend you to test this out on uh, yourself first uh, before using this on actual meeting so that you don't have problems and later on. 
But yeah, let's go and click on leave uh, leave button here at the top right. Let's go and click on leave. But yeah, so that's how you use the interview copilot here if you want to get assistance on an interview. Now, if you want to have an actual uh, mock interview, go and click on mock interview. Like for example, maybe we want to have an interview with Mark Zuckerberg here. Let's go and click on video call. Go and choose your role here. Uh, let's just go and choose UX designer. Let's go and choose one. Let's go and click on uh, our shame here. Now I could go and personalize this uh, to whatever you want. IT and cyber security here. And let's go and just choose the launch option here. Now, by the way, you may need to leave your previous session in order for you to access this one. Let's go and click on launch. Wait for a while here and it should launch your interview as you can see right now. So from here, you could go and click on do your launching here. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to start the uh, actual interview or the mock interview here. Now, like what I said before, there are a lot more that you could do in here, like AI material generator, AI job hunter, AI career coach here. So you could go and just utilize those, explore the, that yourself. I'm just giving you the basics here on how to get started in Final Round AI. So, and that's it. So use the link in the description to sign up and get your first interview faster.